you going to start? I will once you are finished with your beverage. Isn't the point of uh, Games Over Coffee to talk about games over coffee? Humans cannot speak while drinking. Joe, I'm not going to be drinking this the entire time. Multitasking is not an efficient... Just start the podcast already. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Games Over Coffee. I am your host, Joe, and with me today is famed YouTuber and game design influencer, Devon. Joe, I'm not famous, and I'm not an influencer. Entering Whisper Mode. I have given you those descriptions because it will generate more interest. Right. Exiting Whisper Mode. Please say hello to the audience. Uh, hello audience? Today we are talking about an indie game that Devon discovered while creating content for his channel. Please state the name of your channel. Yeah, uh, it's called Games Over Coffee Consulting. Please state the name of the game. Well, I was consulting for a game called Attack of the Five Foot Fish, and I looked at the developer's other games. Please state the name of the developer. Sofesk. Thank you for sharing that story. No, there's more to it, Joe. When I was checking out their other games, I came across a game called Snapped, and I thought it was pretty awesome. What does the player do in this game? Uh, they play as a bird who's trying to collect sticks for their nest and avoid uh, getting pictures taken of them. Does the player die if the cameras get them? No. Oh. So the player collects sticks, and then what? Uh, and then they bring them back to their nest. I see. Fascinating. <laughs> You think that's fascinating? My life has changed. Joe, what are you talking about? Thank you for listening. You can find games over coffee. No, Joe, I'm not done. Oh, please continue. Okay, I love this game so much because it employs what I would consider empathetic mechanics. And what are empathetic mechanics? Well, I always talk about how interactivity of a game is what should be used to tell the story, right? So it's Correct. really... So, it, so it's really cool to see a game that translates the experience of intrusion directly into gameplay. And how does the game achieve that? So as I said, the player plays as a bird, and the context is that there's drone cameras that are trying to take pictures of nature, and the player has this little uh, nest that's situated in a small forest, and they have to gather nesting materials that are outside of the forest that are underneath the drones. And when you go out into the drone area, it's already really daunting because it's so much of a contrast because you, you have this very large open area, and it feels very unsecure. Then when you're walking around, there's these giant red and white blinking rectangles that are rotating everywhere, and they represent the viewports of the uh, drone cameras, and they rotate really fast. And if the player gets caught in one, then the screen flashes and shakes, and the HUD says that there's been a picture taken of him. Incredible. Joe, are you just saying stuff? I am indeed speaking. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I love this so much because the pictures that are taken emulate the way that a player gets damaged in other games like in other words like the big screen shake and the the flash you know it doesn't technically hurt the player but it does impede your momentum and it's very annoying that sounds annoying the player can really feel that intrusion since their character slows down if too many pictures are taken of them which makes their goal to gather sticks really hard to do and it's interesting to think about because these mechanics really do emulate stress, mirroring nature as humans intrude on their space. Very interesting. I just really appreciate the way that the mechanics are used to show emotion. That's something that a lot of AAA games could learn from. My life has changed. Okay, Joe. Please watch the YouTube channel known as Games Over Coffee Consulting. I have heard the episode called Turtle vs. Portal is amazing. Nice. Yeah, uh, the one that you guests spoke on. Very cool. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you.